I am going to paint the most realistic picture of Bitcoin based on what is going to happen over the next week. Now, we are not going to use any technical analysis. I've been in Bitcoin and long before you. I've been on YouTube for five years with 12 different channels. Now, ETFs have come and gone before. And there's been talk of ETFs and ever since the last bull run, I remember, you know, I remember we were going like a thousand dollars a day. I remember we hit nineteen thousand. Then I remember the ETF talking how we would pump. Well, this time, the and what would happen is the ETFs would then be turned down, and crypto would crash. This time, it's a setup. It is a guaranteed lock that at least one of these ETFs will be approved. We have several of them this week. We have Invesco. Let me close this trade here. Six percent. We have Invesco on the 19th. We have Van Eck also coming up, I believe, on the 25th. But Monday, there is supposed to be an announcement, and every YouTuber, even Grandma, look how excited they are, because they always want to tell you that it's going to go straight to the moon. I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen. Okay, let's go back. Today is the 15th, Friday, the 15th of October. Okay. We hit $60,000 last night. Did you miss it? It was amazing. I didn't even get the screenshot. We hit $60,000 and immediately broke under it. Okay. So just, just 14 days ago, we were $20,000 less just two weeks ago. Don't you think this is what they call baked in. This means that everyone has already bought in because of the news. They are in massive profit. You've heard what they say, buy the, buy the rumor and sell the news. We get rich because we leverage trade, long or short, on the one minute short. And that's what I usually show you. But what I want you to see here is that this is a lock. It's going to be approved. Now, whether it's approved or not approved, we are going to have an imminent dump as soon as the news comes out. Now, because they spread it out, because they spread it out, okay, slowly, okay, they spread it out, you know, on the 19th, there's one, another one on the 25th. The minute the first one comes out and it's approved, you're going to see people taking profits. It's always like this. I come from a background of trading stock options. It's the only thing. Technical analysis does not work, nor does it carry over crypto. But it's the only thing that works on crypto also. This is called an event trade. So what are we looking at? We are looking at this weekend probably hitting 60000 again. Maybe some irrational exuberance. Okay. Especially today. Going into tomorrow. We want to start to be careful on Sunday. Those of you that know how I do war on the one minute chart and the time frames I use also know about the drill down. If you're not a subscriber, you should. The drill down tells us in advance, okay, when there's going to be a pump and a dump. And that's all we care about are pumps and dumps. Now, there's another big secret that none of the happy idiots know. None of the happy, happy, stupid onion people know. Should I put in another trade? Excellent job. Got out just the right time. That's what we like to do. All right. The ETF that's supposed to be approved on Monday is a futures ETF. It is a paper based ETF, by the way, below my video. Look for this one link, which will take you here. And there's a lot of stuff here. How to trade on the exchange ID if you'd like to do 60x leverage trading. My next video is going to be on a new, safer way to leverage throttle. Okay, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and look for it. Um, it's new OTAC. Okay, now, it's going to cause a lot, a lot fewer liquidations and a lot more profitable trades. Even for those who haven't had my Discord and console, you know, if you click this, you can see what it's about. Then it has some VPNs and some other things. Here's the web page screenshot I use. I have 14 YouTube channels that you can subscribe to. Um, 
So again, just to be clear and to the point, we look at this price of 59000 we ask ourselves why, and we look at it in the last two weeks, look, look at this, okay, let's, let's, let's bring it to this one, okay, look, it started on 10-1, the smart people started knowing it was going to be approved, and loaded the boat, and they're up $20,000 of Bitcoin right now, the smart people. Now, there's a difference in ETFs. The one that everyone wants is a spot ETF. That means there are only a certain number of Bitcoin in the entire world. A spot ETF means that the ETF must buy real Bitcoin, thus raising the price maybe to $100,000, maybe more. It's the only finite limited asset in the world there is nothing else not gold not oil not diamonds that they know that there is exactly this many and there will never be any more and now that we're moving to a central bank digital currency okay where well, all the countries are going to have digital currency well you may be surprised okay about what happens with bitcoin that's all i'm going to say just as once the U.S. dollar was backed by something that made it stand out amongst all other, do other dollars. What was that something? Physical gold. What if it was backed by digital gold? What if the new U.S. digital dollar outstood all the other current currencies because it was backed by Bitcoin? Do you know that one of the largest holders, okay, amongst the largest holders in the world of Bitcoin are the United States and China? So what am I saying to you? I am saying, okay, that we can probably make a lot of money going long this weekend, but there could possibly be a hard dump on the news. And if you see that break happening, don't buy the dip, short it. You buy the dip, you will become the dip. Short it, short it to the ground until you watch using our time frames, and you know, until you see it stopped. And once it's stopped, then you can long. You can make money in both directions. This is an event trade. The idiots, the stupids, are going to be buying this weekend. They're going to be buying right at the top, thinking that once the news comes out, it's going to go instantly to 100000 It's not because, unfortunately, these are not spot ETFs. Life is not that easy. Wall Street is not that giving. These are futures ETFs. Have you ever heard of, I'm gonna give you a crypto example. Have you heard of some of these derivative cryptos like wrapped Bitcoin? If you're a noob and you don't know, that's Bitcoin that can work on the Ethereum network. It's wrapped Bitcoin. What it is, is not real Bitcoin, but it's a synthetic form of Bitcoin used to do things with. Well, a futures ETF, you must understand, is a derivative, meaning that they don't have to buy any BTC. They just need paper BTC. Now, they say when the gold ETFs came out, gold went huge. Mm. They were physical. They were, they were different. They were spot at first. Now there's paper and... There's paper, which is called futures, and there's spot gold, okay? And well, with Bitcoin, we're gonna have the same thing. And everybody thinks that this is gonna benefit us. It's not, it's for them. It's a trading instrument, like I trade the one minute chart. It is just an instrument to trade with. Now, after the big decline, yes, prices should go back up, all right? Unless there's heavy regulation or things change. They're talking about well, they're talking about KYCing every move over $10,000, making everyone involved in Bitcoin a broker dealer. Okay? And you're going to have to know if you got more than $10,000, the identity and everything of the person who sent it to you. And many governments are talking about this now, but that's another story. So, Bitcoin is real. Everything else is garbage. I don't cheat you, eat you. I can tell you by the amount of time 
by, by the amount of crypto, the type of cryptos people talk about, how long they've been in crypto. If, if they're talking about Shiba Inu, right, they are a newborn. If they're talking about Dogecoin, they're like an infant. If they're talking about DeFi, they're a toddler, okay? If you're talking about Bitcoin and ETH and leverage trading, you're an OG like me. Now, this has been a setup. I guarantee you this will be approved, at least one of them. Most likely, Wall Street's darling who is in bed with Tesla, Kathy Woods from ARK Investments. Part of the setup was laid out. I've talked about this many times on my conspiracy channel, the Tesla ARK, okay, connection, where Kathy Woods, who owns ARK Investments, owns heavy amounts of Tesla, and Tesla owns heavy amounts of Bitcoin, and so everything goes in hand in hand. If Bitcoin goes down, Tesla's shares balance sheet and shares go down, okay, and then her funds go down. Arc Investments. So now she's saying that there's going to be a $500,000 Bitcoin. I'm not sure if I did it on this channel. Let me see if I can find it for you. Maybe on my news channel, the OCNN, okay, where not long ago, they did something. Here it is, two months ago, called the B word. I said, warning, manipulation was coming. And I talked about this conference they had that turned out to be a joke. And it was to pump the price of Bitcoin. So she has filed for an ETF. These are Wall Street's darlings. They will get it. This is why. Oh, and I, I gotta put these artificial intelligence ones together, okay? Who created AI? I need to make a playlist on this channel. These are such big videos. All my videos are linked below in the link tree down here, my 14 YouTube channels. And um, you can subscribe to whatever you like. I really don't care. I don't beg for subscribers. I don't need your money. I don't need to sell you anything. I really don't care. I like making content. I am all about crypto. I am all crypto. I am the truth in crypto. So what we're expecting again, back to price action, is excitement this week, although it looks like we're slowing down on the six hour. A lot of the pump happened overnight. My guys caught it right and we're gonna look for a little crash as soon as this is announced okay and people realize that it doesn't make a difference the price of bitcoin didn't go to the moon wall street isn't buying instantly hundreds of thousands of bitcoin and that's going to happen okay that we are going to have that crash that will be a buying opportunity but the future is bright for Bitcoin. So I wanted to give you all scenarios. I wanted to give you as much information as I could. I wanted to point out that Kathy Woods is involved in this. The SEC chairman has said that he wants ETFs. Okay, why does he want ETFs? They want regulation. I just did another video, was it here? I just did another video. Do you own bad Bitcoin? Bitcoin is the surveillance coin. Okay, all of a sudden these things have been happening, right? Where, where there's these cyber threats and all of these attacks and ransomware and demanding Bitcoin. Any hacker worth his salt would not use Bitcoin because it's completely 100% traceable. When the Russian Ponzi scheme Fineco just went under and the Russian authorities caught them all, they were able to find their Bitcoin and label them as scam funds. Yeah, you know those private keys you got? And you know, that TXID? Your wallet, it's all traceable. You, my friend, you may own scam funds. You may own scam funds. Watch this video. I encourage you to click the link below and join the OCNN. These are my two trading channels where I teach you literally how to trade more than one minute short. If you got involved in my Discord and console, okay, well, I have a Telegram, it's free. It's still free, where is it? The official Telegram, okay? Soon it's not gonna be free anymore. But I combine all the magic of all my channels there. I let you know everything first. Newest ways to make money. Screw NFTs and you getting stuck holding the bag. I'll show you how to get rich in crypto.
So, this has been your Bitcoin forecast, the coming truth of what's happened. Have a good day.